here's an interesting take. What if cold plunging or ice baths actually increases a person's stress because they just really are hypersensitive to cold and that kind of thing? Could we actually be doing literally the reverse of stimulating recovery for this person by force feeding them this modality, this, this option? So obviously float tank is not abrasive or, you know, it's, it's, it's something that is pretty comfy for anybody. And I don't think you have that in, in, um, uh, to worry about other than the fact that for some people, if, 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 if you're not great with enclosed spaces, I don't think yeah. the, that person gets into a really level of deep relaxation using float tank. If they're sitting there like, I don't really love this right now, <laughs> you know? So, um, I think for the right person either, or in, in those two, uh, options of, of recovery strategies can be phenomenal. It's just a matter of, um, like from an exercise prescription standpoint, there's many great exercises out there. It doesn't mean all those great exercises are great for every person. 